Many empires emerged during the Bronze Age, some became famous as the Babylonians. Others, however, were buried by the sands of time and were almost forgotten in the course of history. The Hittite Empire was one of the most powerful and influential of its time and yet it remained concealed for a long time. The Hittites were an Indo-European people who in 2000 BC settled in central Anatolia where Turkey is today. They called themselves Hatti and as soon as they arrived in the region, they dominated the other tribes. This domination was enforced. Diplomacy was only used when feasible. The Hittites were proud of their warrior society and had great esteem for horses. Those responsible for breeding and training horses had a prominent place in society. One of the first accounts of the Hittites is in the Greek tale The Odyssey, where the Hittites are called Ketas. In the Bible, the Hittites are quoted in the Old Testament as Heth. There is even the story of Uriah, Bathsheba's husband, who served King David. Uriah and Bathsheba were Hittites. The Hittites are also mentioned in Asian and Egyptian texts. Even with so many accounts, the Hittite people were only officially discovered in 1880 by archaeologist Archibald Henry Sace. Even though he found evidence, Archibald was a laughingstock within academic society who said he was trying to make up the existence of the Hittites. Its discovery was only confirmed years later in excavations carried out by the German archaeologist Hugo Winkler. By 1650 BC, the Babylonian Empire, the Egyptian Empire, and the Hittite Empire had been consolidated. The Hittites were in a very privileged geographical position since they could trade with different nations of different cultures. Merchant vessels from Greece, Egypt, and Mesopotamia passed through the ports of the Hittite cities. Even though they were surrounded by powerful kingdoms and empires, the Hittites were never conquered and it is said they never lost a battle. In 1274 BC, the Hittites fought the battle of Kadesh against the Egyptians. Both fought fiercely without gaining a decisive advantage. The battle ended in a draw and the powerful Egyptians were forced to retreat. Pharaoh Ramses II signed a peace treaty with the Hittites, recognizing the Hittite Empire as being of equal military power to Egypt. On several occasions, the Hittites stopped Assyrian, Babylonian, Egyptian, and Greek evasions and even completely defeated the enemy troops. Their equipment consisted of bronze helmets and weapons, as well as heavy armor made of small bronze plates. The Hittites are also known as the first civilization to dominate iron metallurgy. The Hittites also had the reputation of owning the best war chariots of their time. They could carry three warriors and were pulled by two or even four horses. The tactic used by these carriages was efficient. There was a driver for the horses, a warrior with a long spear and heavy armor. Also, a third warrior carried a shield to protect the other two. Sometimes, this third warrior used bow and arrows for attacks at a distance. A combination of speed, attack, and defense undoubtedly made the Hittites fearsome. Some records mention that even the famous city of Troy paid tributes to the Hittites. The Hittite society was incredibly advanced. They had their own hieroglyphic writing, later changed to the cuneiform writing copied from the Assyrians. They had a very detailed art style, as well as established and severe laws that punished with death crimes like murder. The capital city of the empire was Hattusa, whose ruins still exist today. In politics, there was the king, who showed social and military skills. Also, there was a council of noblemen called Pankas, which prosecuted the crimes or decided on minor day-to-day -day matters. Among the Hittites, even the slaves had rights in society. In religious matters, the Hittites were incredibly tolerant. They worshipped gods of various peoples and even respected the beliefs of their enemies, which earned the Hittites the epithet of people of the thousand gods. At its peak, the Hittite empire extended from Turkey to a part of Lebanon and Syria. Shortly after the Battle of Kadesh, the Hittite Empire entered into eternal conflicts and other peoples took advantage of this instability. The Hittites were destroying their cities and villages in the civil war. The Assyrians kept increasing the pressure with their attacks. The Hittite population began to flee from their homes and migrated to other regions. After burning Hattusa, their capital, the Hittites became easy targets for groups of pirates and looters. One of the most developed Bronze Age empires ended in ruins. As for the survivors of the Hittites, it is not clear where they went. Probably, they lived in small tribes or sought refuge in cities of other kingdoms. 
Although so much time has passed, the Hittite Empire is still barely known and deserves to be remembered for its great historical importance.